Dean Scholes brings you the Jane story, the life experience of a young wife and mother who was, by the love, mercy, and grace of God, delivered from the prison of Satan's kingdom into glorious liberty in the kingdom of God. The reality of the truth of Jesus' statement where he said, And upon this rock will I build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it, will be made real to you through this experience. And now, let's listen as Reverend Sam Fife of Miami relates the case and is then used as God's chief human instrument in effecting this young mother's deliverance from Satan's kingdom. This is the story of Jane. The record of the deliverance of a young woman from demon possession in the city of New Orleans some three years ago. At the point where we were led to this young woman, she would often beat her head against the wall, was continually threatening to kill her children, continually pummeling her breasts and the rest of her body, often had fits of jerking in which she would be thrown on the floor in convulsive seizures. She had to be watched day and night. Her husband had spent $6,000 on psychiatrists to no avail. And at the point where we were led to her, she had just been sent home from Tulane University Psychiatric Clinic, New Orleans, they having declared that nothing could be done for her and advised her husband to commit her. The Lord led us to her. He appointed the hour of her deliverance. And at God's appointed hour, a group of my church people and myself gathered round her to command the demons to come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next thing that you will hear on this recording is a recording of us commanding demon spirits out of Jane. At first, the spirits tried to remain quiet, hoping that we would be, be deceived into thinking they were not there and go away. But when we continued to press them, they manifested themselves by taking such complete possession of Jane's whole personality that they spoke through her, using her own voice, declaring to us they were not coming out by it, hoping that we would be, be deceived into thinking they were not there and go away. It's a recording of us commanding demon spirits out of Jane to command the demons to come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next thing that you will hear on this recording is a recording of us commanding demon spirits out of Jane. At first, the spirits tried to remain quiet, hoping that we would be, be deceived into thinking they were not there and go away. But when we continued to press them, they manifested themselves by taking such complete possession of Jane's whole personality that they spoke through her, using her own voice, declaring to us they were not coming out and arguing with us, even as they did the man Legion, who lived in the graveyard in the scriptures, out of whom Jesus cast a legion of demon spirits. Listen, and you will hear as the battle goes on. And when he had come out of the ship, Immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he had said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. You're coming out of it, brother. You're coming out of her, devil. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You can't sell up in me. I know you're in there. 
In the name of Jesus, I command you. What's your name, devil? Hmm? What's your name, devil? Huh? Answer me in Jesus' name. You will answer me. You will answer me. You will tell me your name. You will in the name of Jesus. What's your name, devil? Huh? What is thy name? What is thy name? What is thy name? In the name of Jesus, I command you to answer me, devil. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me, devil. You tell me. You can't spell upon me. I know you in there. You tell me. What's your name? Hmm? What's your name, devil? Stick out your tongue like a serpent. Go ahead. That's it. Stick out your tongue like a serpent. You're a foul, filthy serpent, devil, aren't you? Huh? You're a foul, filthy... What's your name, demon? Ah. What's your name, devil? Hmm? Answer me. Answer me. What's your name? Hmm? Thaddeus. When did you come back in this girl, Thaddeus? Huh? Last night. You came back in last night. After she come home from church, huh? Oh, she was asleep. Huh? While she was asleep, huh? When are you going to give up, Thaddeus? Never. Every time you come back in this girl, I'm going to cast you out again. Did you know that? I'll never give up. What? I'll never give up. What? What'd you say? I said I'll never give up. Yes, you will, because I'm going to build so much faith in her, you're not going to be able to come back in her. You couldn't come back in yesterday because she had her faith high, could you? Huh? You are crazy. What? What? You are crazy. Stephen Scholes brings you the same story, the life experience of a young wife and mother who was, by the love, mercy, and grace of God, delivered from the prison of Satan's kingdom into glorious liberty in the kingdom of God. The reality of the truth of Jesus' statement, where he said, And upon this rock, will I build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it, will be made real to you through this experience. And now, let's listen as Reverend Sam Fife of Miami relates the case and is then used as God's chief human instrument in effecting this young mother's deliverance from Satan's kingdom. This is the story of Jane. The record of the deliverance of a young woman from demon possession in the city of New Orleans some three years ago. At the point where we were led to this young woman, she would often beat her head against the wall, was continually threatening to kill her children, continually pummeling her breast and the rest of her body, often had fits of jerking in which she would be thrown on the floor in convulsive seizures. She had to be watched day and night. Her husband had spent $6,000 on psychiatrists to no avail. And at the point where we were led to her, she had just been sent home from Tulane University Psychiatric Clinic, New Orleans. They having declared that nothing could be done for her and advised her husband to commit her. The Lord led us to her. He appointed the hour of her deliverance. And at God's appointed hour, a group of my church people and myself gathered round her to command the demons to come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next thing that you will hear on this recording is a recording of us commanding demon spirits out of Jane. At first, the spirits tried to remain quiet hoping that we would be, be deceived into thinking they were not there and go away. But when we continued to press them, they manifested themselves by taking such complete possession of Jane's whole personality that they spoke through her, using her own voice, declaring to us they were not coming out and arguing with us, even as they did the man Legion, who lived in the graveyard in the scriptures, out of whom Jesus cast a legion of demon spirits. Listen, and you will hear as the battle goes on. And when he had come out of the ship, 
Immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he had said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. You're coming out of the devil. You're coming out of her, devil. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You can't sell up in me. I know you're in there. In the name of Jesus, I command you. What's your name, devil? Hmm? What's your name, devil? Huh? Answer me in Jesus' name. You will answer me. You will answer me. You will tell me your name. You will in the name of Jesus. What's your name, devil? Huh? What is thy name? What is thy name? What is thy name? In the name of Jesus, I command you to answer me, devil. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me, devil. You tell me. You can't spell upon me. I know you in there. You tell me. What's your name? Hmm? What's your name, devil? Stick out your tongue like a serpent. Go ahead. That's it. Stick out your tongue like a serpent. You're a foul, filthy serpent, devil, aren't you? Huh? You're a foul, filthy... What's your name, demon? Ah. What's your name, devil? Hmm? Answer me. Answer me. What's your name? Hmm? Thaddeus. When did you come back in this girl, Thaddeus? Huh? Last night. You came back in last night. After she come home from church, huh? While she was asleep. Huh? While she was asleep, huh? When are you going to give up, Thaddeus? Never. Every time you come back in this girl, I'm going to cast you out again. Did you know that? I'll never give up. What? I'll never give up. What? What'd you say? I said I'll never give up. Yes, you will, because I'm going to build so much faith in her, you're not going to be able to come back in her. You couldn't come back in yesterday because she had her faith high, could you? Huh? You are crazy. What? What? You are crazy. Just crazy. I'm not crazy, devil. You're crazy. You're the one that's crazy, Thaddeus. I don't go around sticking my tongue out like a serpent. You're the one that's crazy. I'm not crazy. You try to make this girl think she's crazy, don't you? She knows she's crazy. What? She knows she's crazy. You're a liar, devil. You're the one that tell her she's crazy, aren't you? What? Huh? Well, she believes me, and that's the important thing. What? She believes me. She believes you when you tell her she's crazy? Huh? Answer me, devil. She believes you when you tell her she's crazy? Sometimes. Huh? You're the one that makes this girl tormented, aren't you? Huh? Answer me in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Aren't you the one, huh? Mm -hmm. You lie to her, don't you? Huh? What do you tell her that torments her so, devil? Huh? Answer me in Jesus' name. What do you tell her that torments her so, huh? Oh, just tell her that she's... What? I just tell her that she's sick and she's crazy to believe all this stuff. Uh-huh. You tell her she's crazy when I tell her that she's got devils in her, do you? Huh? You don't she like... She can't believe that. She can't believe it? No. Why can't she believe it, devil? Because I won't let her. Uh-huh. Because you won't let her. You don't like me, do you? I hate you. What? I hate you. Why do you hate me, devil? Huh? Because you're you. Uh-huh. I style you up, don't I? Huh? You don't like anybody that believes in God, do you, devil? Huh? Oh, sometimes it doesn't make any difference. Some people, it doesn't matter whether they believe in God or not. You don't like anybody that has real faith, though, do you, devil? Huh? Huh? 
Why are you asking me all these questions? Because you know they've got power over you, don't you, devil? Huh? Yes, I know. You know... That doesn't mean I'm going to give up. You know in the name of Jesus I've got power over you, don't you, devil? Oh, yes. You know I can cast you out of this woman any time I want to, don't you? Huh? Why don't you go on and get it over with? Uh Go on and get it over with. I'll just come back. What do you want me to get it over with for, devil? Huh? Say. Hmm? Because you irritate me. What do you want me to get it over with for, devil, huh? Tell me the truth in Jesus' name. like to talk to you. Why don't you like to talk to me, devil? Because it's harmful. Why is it harmful, devil? How is it harmful to you, devil, huh? Because Jane's listening. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's there and she's saying, God help me, God help me, and she knows God can't help her. Uh Uh-huh. And you don't like for Jane to hear you talking to me, do you, devil, huh? Answer me in Jesus' name, do you? No. Because you know she gets wise to you when you talk to me, don't you, huh? Huh? Don't she you? remembers everything you say, and she remembers everything I say, and it fouls everything up, and I don't want to talk to you anymore. Just go ahead. Do what you must do. If I, I have to leave, I'll leave, but I'll come back. No, I'm going to keep you around and torment you a little bit, devil. I'm going to make you talk. I refuse to be tormented. I'm going to make you to talk. talk. I will so not Jane will hear you anymore. talk, and so her faith will grow stronger. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. You're not? Mm-mm. Let me see you try to keep from it, devil. I've got power over you. You've got to talk to me. Did you know that? I can make you talk to me. No. Yes, I can. No. I can make you... I've got power over you. I can make you do what I want to. In the name of Jesus, you've got to obey me. In the name of Jesus, you've got to obey me, devil. You've got to obey me. Get out your tongue, devil, in the name of Jesus. See? See? You have to do whatever I tell you when I speak in the name of my master. You see that? Jane, 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 isn't that just how it's yeah. I suggest you don't make you do anything. Yeah. You know that, Jane. You're a liar, devil. You're a foul, filthy devil spirit. That's what you are. You know that? Uh, before I ever came here, before I ever came here, this girl was tormented by you. Before I ever came here, you were lying to this girl's mind. Weren't you, devil? Uh, mm-hmm. Tell me the truth in the name of Jesus, weren't you? Yes. I wasn't here with any power suggestion then, was I, devil? You have to tell me the truth, you see, because I've got power over you and you know it. See? And you know that all the time Jane hears you talking to me, her face getting stronger and stronger, don't you, devil, huh? Yes. And you know it's going to get so strong one of these days that you can't come back in it. That's what you're scared of, isn't it? Huh? Huh? Is it? I don't think you can. I don't think you can do that to her. Yes, I can, devil. She's weak. Yes, I can. Every time I cast you out, I'd build a little bit more faith in her, devil. Do you know that? You couldn't come back in her all day yesterday, could you? Huh? No. Because her faith was strong yesterday, you see. And we're going to make it stronger and stronger and stronger until you can't ever come back in her again. Then what are you going to do, devil, huh? No, Jane. Then what are you going to do? You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a fool. You're a liar. You're not going to do that to her. She's going to get stronger and stronger. Dr. Reed could make it go all income. What? Don't forget, Jane. Dr. Reed could make it go. No, Dr. Reed can't. You'd like for Jane to believe that, wouldn't you? Huh? Listen, Jane. Listen, Jane. Just hold on. Forget the whole thing. Uh Uh-huh. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They'll go in a few minutes. Yes. You'd like the doctor, for Jane, to believe that Dr. Reed can make it go so that she wouldn't come to me anymore, would you? Wouldn't you, devil? Answer me in Jesus' name. I'll get her back to Dr. Reed. You will, huh? Sure. No, you won't. You won't. It don't make any difference if she goes back to Dr. Reed or not. I'm going to be here. I'm going to cast you out every time you come back in the devil. Did you know that? Huh? Did you know that? You're wasting your time, devil. You know that? You might as well leave this girl and go somewhere else. Because I'm going to come and cast you out every time you come back in. How do you like that, huh? Huh? Oh, I don't... I don't like it, it, do you? I I don't think you... I don't think you'll be able to do it. Why don't you think I'll be able to do it, Neville? Hmm? Say, why don't you think I'll be able to do it? Answer me in the name of Jesus. Huh? Because I've got power over Jane. Yes, but I've got power over you. You know I've got power over you, don't you? Huh? Every time I walk in the house, you get scared, don't you, devil? Huh? You're scared of me, aren't you? Huh? Yes. Because you know I know you. 
You know, I know how you guys work. Let me tell you something, devil. I'm going to chase you all over the city of New Orleans. I'm going to run you slam out of this town before I'm through. Did you know that? Huh? There's other places besides New Orleans. Yes. Yes, there are. And besides, these... you can't you can't ch- chase me out of New Orleans because you are too few and we are too many. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yes, but I'll tell you something, demon. I'm teaching people about you every day. Did you know that? I'm teaching them that you guys are real. And I'm teaching them from the word of God that they've got faith over you and power over you in Jesus' name to cast you out. (laughs) And more and more of us are beginning to believe it every day. More and more of us are getting wise to you guys all the time. What are you jerking her for, devil, huh? What are you jerking her for, huh? You don't like that, do you? You don't like to think that we're teaching people about you guys every day, do you, huh? You don't like to think about that, do you, huh? Huh? And more and more of them are going to know that they can cast you out. And then they're going to know how to recognize you. Your deceitful little game is over, devil. Did you know that? Listen, Sam Fives, let me tell you something. Do you know what you're missing? What? You're missing all the joy that you could have with your family and in your home by spending all your time running around the town chasing after... Odd people that you don't even know. What difference does it make to you whether they are all right or whether they aren't? Uh-huh. Why should you care? You have Sam Fife to take care of. Now, don't forget that. That's what you devils tell everybody, huh? Isn't it? Huh? Just worry about yourself and don't worry about other people. That's what you feel. You've got a devils. little girl to take care of. Uh-huh. You've got a little girl at... On your own to take care of. Yes. Why don't you stay home and take care of her? Yeah, I can take care of her, too. God can take care of my little girl. That's what you devils tell everybody, isn't it? Just worry about yourself and don't worry about anybody else. That's the message you filthy spirits preach, isn't it? That's the message your father preaches. That's the way he is, isn't it? Huh? Isn't it? Huh? That's the way he is, huh? Just think about self, self, self all the time. That's why he rebelled against God. He just thought about self. He wanted to rule, didn't he, huh? Isn't that so, devil? Mm Mm-hmm. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. That's the way you guys are, huh? Isn't it? You just think about yourself all the time. You don't think about this poor girl and the torment that you give her and the way she suffers and the way her husband suffers and the way her I husband suffers. I should care suffers. that she suffers. What? I should care whether she suffers. I know. you don't All those care. snotty nose kids running around here. Uh-huh. I should care about them. Uh-huh. Brats. You don't care whether anybody brats, suffers. every one of them. Uh-huh. You don't care whether anybody suffers. You just like to torment and torment and torment, don't you, devil, huh? Answer me, isn't that so, devil? Yes. Yes. You devils live off tormenting people, don't you? Isn't that true? Of course. Do you you think we do eat bread? Uh Uh-huh. That's your food, isn't it, devil? Huh? Of course. The misery that you cause people, isn't it? That's your food, isn't it? Huh? You said that. I didn't. Yes, but I'm going to make you tell me the truth. Is it true or isn't it? Answer me in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. You don't like to tell me those things, do you? I don't like to talk to you in the first place. And I'll tell you something. If... Go on. If people would just mind their own business, I wouldn't have any trouble with people like you. Uh Jane didn't call you. Uh Uh-huh. Sure damn whistling Jane didn't call you. I know she didn't call me. She wouldn't call you in a million years. I know, because... Because you make her sick. You make her sick, devil. You make her sick. Well, then why is she all right when you aren't here? She's not all right when I'm not here. You make her sick. Jane, you are all right. You know you're all right. Don't worry about it. You make her sick. She every, is sick. Of course she's sick. Every time she starts to call me, you tell her she's going to get sick if she calls me. Don't you, devil? Huh? Don't you, devil? Answer me in the name of Jesus. Don't you, devil? Yes. Huh? Of course I tell her. You tell her that just because you don't want her to call me, don't you? Of course I don't want her to call you. Because you know if she calls me, I'm going to drive you out of her, don't you? Hmm? I'll just come back. Yes, but you know when I come, and I make you reveal to her more and more that it's you that's tormenting her, don't you, devil? In the name of Jesus, tell me, don't you, devil? Huh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You were tormenting this girl before I ever came around, devil. Weren't you? 
I've been tormenting her for years. Mm-hmm. How do you torment her, devil? Tell me that. How do you Oh, I just her? stick with her and I just keep reminding her. Uh-huh. Reminding her of what? Answer <coughs> me in the name of Jesus. Reminding her of what? I don't know that she's sick and that she's bad and she won't. She listens to me. Yeah, you torment her that way, don't you, devil? She doesn't know I'm bothering her. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She doesn't know I'm bothering her. She thinks she's sick. You said there's so many of you and there's so few of us. How many of there are, you devil? How many are there of you? You calling me names. You want me to call you some names? I could call you some names and burn your ears. Could you really? You're damn what's when I could. Could you really, Devil? Sure, I could. Uh-huh. You're no a sense in you calling me names. I don't call you names. Demon spirit straight An out. eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You keep on this and I'll keep down to start telling you a few things. Mm-hmm. You like that law, don't you? You like that law, don't you? That's the one you preach to people, isn't it, Devil? Huh? That's not the law of God. The law in the Bible. God. The law of God is love your enemies. Pray for them that would do evil against you. You don't like that kind of talking, do you, devil, huh? That's malarkey. You don't like... That's malarkey. You don't like for people to talk about love, do malarkey. you, devil? Huh? Malarkey. Love's malarkey. Really? You don't like for people to talk about love, do you, devil? Huh? Say. What are you sticking out your tongue for? Huh? You're a foul, filthy serpent, aren't you, devil? Huh? Huh? You said that I didn't... Yes, but you keep sticking that tongue out that shows your filthy serpent nature. You've got a serpent nature, haven't you, devil? Answer me in Jesus' name. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. You're just like a filthy snake. That's what you are. And you just love to torment people and make them miserable. Don't you? You like to destroy them, don't you, devil? Huh? Don't you! Answer me in the name of Jesus! I do my share. Mm-hmm. You'd like to kill this girl, wouldn't you, devil? Huh? I will. You'd like to kill her if you were strong enough, wouldn't you? Huh? I will. Just give I me will. time. You're not strong enough, devil. Just give me You're time. Strong enough. You're give not me a very time. strong spirit. I've yes. already talked to her about it. She, she's got a good idea. Yes. What did you tell her about it? Huh? Answer me in the name of Jesus. I told her it'd be easy. Huh? I told her it would be easy. Yes. I told her it would be easy and it would be... Easy, easier than trying to go on like she is. And she she knows that it's too hard to go on like she is. You're a liar, devil. I told her it's too hard. I told her she can't stand it. Uh-huh. I told her she can't stand it like she is. What do you want to tell She's her? crazy and she she's just... I told her she's crazy. I told her she'll never get well. She's going to be in an institution if she doesn't. If she doesn't go ahead and do something about it herself. What do you want to kill her for, devil? Answer me in Jesus' name. Because those kids. What do you want to kill her for, devil? Because then I can have the kids. And you can have the kids, huh? You want to possess the kids, too, is that right? You filthy serpent sticking out your tongue. Answer me, is that right? Huh? Wanted to teach the kids about things like she's doing. Oh yeah, what's she? She keep? keeps no even even when I tell her that she believes me about herself, but she keeps telling the kids that God is love. Oh yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You don't like that, do you? Huh? Huh? You take me on your side, and I make you do my hashem, and I make you feel like I'm standing on my kaya, and I make you feel like I'm on the ground, and I make you feel like I'm on the ground, and I make you feel like I'm on the ground. You don't like for me to speak in tongues, do you, devil? Huh? It torments you, don't it? Don't it, devil? Gets under my skin. Gets under your skin? I'm going to do it some more just to get under your skin, oh. devil. Did you know that? Oh, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here for heaven's sake. Let this child alone. 
What do you want me to let her alone for, devil? Huh? You know I'm going to cast you out of her? Huh? I'll come back. What? I'll come back. No, you won't. You may come back a couple of more times, but I'm building more faith in her every time I cast you out. And you know it, don't you? Don't you, devil! Yes. The day's going to come when you won't be able to come back. Then you're going to have to walk through dry places. What are you going to do then, devil, huh? I'll find somebody. But I like it here, and I don't intend to move. You're going to move, devil. You're going to move. Because you'll run into a bunch of people who know about you. We're wise to you. Now, why don't you get smart? Huh? Why don't you get smart and realize that you're finished with this girl? This is your house no longer. You're stupid. Did you know that? You're stupid. You're a stupid spirit. Did you know that? Huh? What are you grinning at? What are you grinning at, devil? Answer me in the name of Jesus. I'm just not paying any attention to you. Uh-huh. You mean you're trying not to pay any attention to me. You're stupid, spirit. You're not smart. If you had any sense, you'd realize that you were finished here. And you'd go on and leave this girl alone. You'd realize that I'm never going to let you alone until I drive you all the way out of this girl completely. I'm going to hunt you down and drive you slam out of the city of New Orleans. Did you know that, devil? Huh? Pass me in the name of Jesus. I don't believe you. You don't believe me. You know I've got power over you, don't you? Yes, Hmm? Yes, I know. I can cast you out any time I want to, devil. Well, come on. Let's get it over with. No. No, I, I want to make you talk a little more. I want to make you talk a little more so this girl can know that it's you that's tormenting her. What are you putting your hand over the mouth for, huh? You don't want to talk, do you, huh? You make your foot over, put another hand over her mouth because you don't want to talk, do you, devil? But you have to talk. You have to talk. You're under my power, and you have to talk. You and your filthy serpent nature. You and your filthy serpent nature. Lucifer is your father, isn't he? Huh? Is he? Answer me in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. He's the father of all you filthy spirits, isn't he? Huh? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yes. And he wants to destroy people, doesn't he? Huh? Yes. You're just like the filthy spirits that were in the man legion long ago when Jesus cast them out of him. And he went into the hogs and they destroyed themselves. Do you know that, that Thaddeus? Huh? Yes. You were around in those days, weren't you, Thaddeus? Yes. Huh? You were around in those days. You were tormenting people in those days, weren't you? Huh? Yes. You're an old spirit, aren't you? Yes. Huh? Let me ask you something, Demon. What makes it so hard to cast some out? Of you devils and easier to cast out others. Huh? Tell me that. Just like you, there are some of us who are stronger and some of us who are weaker. Oh, yeah? Why are some of you stronger? Answer me in the name of Jesus! Why are some of you stronger? Huh? Tell me, devil, I command you in Jesus' name. Huh? Why are some of you stronger? We'll keep fighting and we... You're not going to win. You're not going to win. Well, we're going to give you a 
battle of your lifetime. You're not going to win. Jesus Christ said on this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shan't prevail against it. You're not going to win the church Yeah, but most Christ. people don't know what that means. What? Most people don't know what that means. Yes, but I know what it means, and we're teaching more and more of them every day. Devil, did you know that? Hmm? We're going to start casting you guys out of everybody that you possess and that you torment. Did you know that? We're going to topple your kingdom through the main power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. Did you know that? God's moving in the earth and he's revealing his truth to more and more of his people. More and more of his people are becoming spiritual instead of carnal. More and more of his people are getting filled with the spirit of God. And he teaches us about you filthy spirits. Did you know that? Huh? Yes, I know. <laughs> yes, I know. You guys are getting worried, too. Just have to fight harder. Just have to fight harder. Who else is in there with you, Thaddeus? Dance. Who else? That's all. Just you and Dennis, huh? Don't you lie to me. I command you to tell me the truth. Who else is in there with you in the name of Jesus? Huh? That's all. That's all? When did Dennis come back in? This morning. Huh? This morning. How come you always come back in first before Dennis, huh? Because I'm stronger than Dennis. Yeah. And I tell her she can't pray, that she doesn't have time to pray, that she can't pray because God won't hear her, and then Dennis comes in. Oh, yeah. And I tell her she can't pray, that she doesn't have time to pray, that she can't pray because God won't hear her, and then Dennis comes in. Oh, yeah. Because she doesn't have any strength. <laughs> but she's getting she says, more and more. What? She says, I'm going to pray. She says, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. But see, she doesn't. She says, I'm going to pray. And she says, I'll go away. I'm going to pray. And then she sings. And she sings. And she sings. And I keep her right on after him pretty soon. She's so unhappy she can't even sing. <laughs> and then when you come back in, huh? Huh? When she gets, when I, when I get to convince her that she's, it's not really true, then I can come back in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can, I got a lot of re things to tell her about how it couldn't be true. How do you, And when I tell her it couldn't be true, she, she doesn't always believe me, but when she does believe me, I keep telling her and I keep telling her and then she believes me and, then I can come back in. Uh -huh. Tell me something, devil. No. Yes, you will. How do you talk to her when you're not in her? Huh? I command you to tell me in the name of Jesus. I just make her think. I can make her think. I don't have to be in her to make her think. You do that. Do you just project your thought into her mind? Mm-hmm. Huh? It's simple. How? It's simple. Ah, devil. Because it's just as simple as it can be. I don't have any trouble at all. I just say, Janie, now listen to me. Mm -hmm. And she listens because she doesn't know who's talking to her. By the time, by the time she realizes it, it's me, then I've already got her convinced. Mm -hmm. By the time she real, she doesn't realize that I'm a devil. But she real, by the time. She realizes she's sick. I make her see that I'm not no devil. That she's just sick. See, and she then yeah, then I can come back in. Uh -huh. You're a spirit. You can't speak in an audible voice. How do you how do you how do you make her hear you? Huh? She she just understands my thoughts. Yeah, she just understands your thoughts, huh? Sure, she does. I see. <coughs> You're a filthy devil. Did you know that? Boy, that really torments you, don't it, devil? Huh? Ask me in the name of Jesus. Ask me in the name of Jesus, devil. That really torments you, don't it? Huh? Yes. You can't stand it when God's spirit feels pe people speaking the heavenly language, can you, huh? You don't like that kind of an atmosphere, do you? 
doesn't mean anything. What? Doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, well, how come you twist this girl and tear her and stick your tongue out like a snake when I do that then, huh? Just give me a minute, my dear. It makes me nervous. I don't understand it. Uh-huh. I know you don't understand it. I know you don't understand it, devil. I know it makes you nervous. Not any language on the earth. I know it's not. I know a lot of languages, but I, uh, I don't... You know a lot of languages, huh? I know a lot of languages. Yeah, what kind of languages do you know, devil? Hmm? I can cuss better than you can. Ah, uh, that's the I only language you... I can tell you all kinds of filth. I can the... tell you all kinds of filth. Is that filth. the only language you and know? And enjoy every minute of it. Uh-huh. Is that the only language you know is filth, huh? Say, huh? Is that the only kind of language you can speak? Huh? No, I can talk nice, too. Yeah, you're only bragging, weren't you, devil? You don't know any other languages. You're a dirty liar, you know that? Huh? You said that I didn't... All that you know is filth, devil. Isn't it? You like to put filth in people's mind, don't you? Huh? Just give me a minute, my Jesus. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You're the master of filth. You're the father of filth. You're a filthy, unclean spirit. Come on, let's get this thing over with. Oh, you'd like let's get that, this thing over you? with. You'd like that, wouldn't I'll you? I'll be back in by the night anyhow. You'd like that, wouldn't you, huh? I'll be back in by the night. Go and like get it over that, with. You'd like that, wouldn't you, huh? I'm gathering a little information, devil. You won't get anything of any truth out of me. Really? So anything you've got that tape recorder going, catching up, you just might as well play it back to yourself and realize that it's a bunch of hokey pokey because I'm not telling you anything that's right. <laughs> You're not, huh? You're not fooling me, devil. I know when you're lying. You said you're coming back in tonight. That's not right? Huh? 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 What about that, devil, huh? Well. <laughs> caught you in a lie, didn't we? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> caught you in a lie, didn't we? You think you're pretty slick, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we're smarter than you are, devil. You thought you were pretty smart. You are you lying when you said you're not coming back in tonight? Or are you lying when you tell us you're not telling us the truth? One of them is a lie. Getting kind of confused, aren't you, devil? Huh? I'm never confused. No? No? No, I'm never confused. You're not confused. so smart. You're not so smart. You guys have been hiding in people for ages. And that's your chief weapon, the fact that you can hide and people don't know you're real, isn't it? Huh? That's right. But more and more people are getting wise to you guys. God is revealing the truth about you devils. Did you know that? God is opening up the minds of people and showing them that you unclean spirits are real. Oh, that's malarkey. More and more. I'm going out teaching people every day that you filthy devils are real. Did you know that? How do you like that, huh? Spread the news I in hell. I have keeping up with you. Spread the news in hell. Go and tell your father that I'm telling more and more people every day about you devils that you're real. The reason we're recording this now is so people can see how real you are. And that's going to hurt your kingdom, demon. Did you know that? If Jane doesn't believe it, how do you think anyone else would? Oh, plenty of people believe it. Jane believes it. I find people that believe it every day. Did you know that? And Jane is believing it more and more. Did you know that? Huh? You couldn't get back into her yesterday, could you? Huh? Your job was a little bit harder, wasn't it? Huh? Tell me the truth, devil, in the name of Jesus. I couldn't get in yesterday. I stayed with her all day, hurrying around and trying, but she... She wouldn't let me in yesterday. <laughs> She's not going to let you in today and tomorrow either, devil. And I'm going to cast you out every time you come back in and build her face stronger and stronger until you're defeated. Why don't you quit wasting your time and go on and leave her alone, huh? She's too good to turn loose. You're going to turn loose, devil. You're going to fail. Oh, you'll get tired after a while. Tired of messing with her. Tired of fooling with her. Everybody else has. I won't. I won't. Sure you will. Nobody else knew You don't very often... You don't very often run across anybody that spends Thanksgiving fiddling around visiting the sick and needy. Yeah, but we mm-hmm. do. He found us. You don't like people like that, do you, that one, huh? Oh, that's malarkey. Yeah, Stay home and mind their own business. Here we are. Uh-huh. We're not going to get tired of fooling with the devil because we know what it is. You see? We know. We know it's you filthy spirits tormenting her. And we know all we have to do is keep casting you out and building faith in her, and one day you'll be completely defeated. How do you like that, devil? Huh? That upsets you, doesn't it, huh? That makes you nervous, doesn't Why it? Why don't huh? you just go leave us alone? Jane is satisfied. Why shouldn't you be? If Jane's satisfied, then 
What in the hell are you fussing about? Because I hate you, devil. I hate you. Did you know? Godly that? people don't hate. I hate you, devil. Do you know it's wrong to hate? I hate you with a passion. Why don't you look at yourself and cast the beam out of your own eye? I hate you with a passion, devil. That's why I'm going to chase you. I hate all you filthy spirits. That's why God's given me power over you so I can cast you out. Did you know that? Jesus gives me power over you. The blood of Jesus is against you, devil. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you, devil. The blood of Jesus is against you, demon. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Cry. Cry. <laughs> Cry, devil. You don't like to hear that, huh? The blood of Jesus is against you. 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 <laughs> that makes you cry, don't you? <laughs> Makes you cry, don't it, Dean? We don't know what's you guys. That makes you cry, don't it? You can't stay around where people believe in the blood of Jesus. You don't like the blood of Jesus, do you, devil? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Why don't you like the blood of Jesus? Huh? Answer me, devil. Because it's power. I know it's power. I know it's power. It's power like we don't have. Uh-huh. Yeah. I know it's power like you don't have. And I'm telling more and more people every day that the blood of Jesus makes them powerful. Did you know that? Huh? Yeah, but I'll come in and stir them up and tell them they're bad. You're a liar. That's the only power you will. have is the power to lie, isn't it, devil? Huh? You're a liar and the father of it, aren't you? Huh? Oh, they're bad. Sure, they're bad. They're bad all the time. You're bad, too. Want me to tell you some of the things about you that are bad? Yeah, go ahead. Go well, ahead. I'll tell you later. Yeah, you're a lying <laughs> devil, see? You're a filthy liar. You can't tell me anything about me that's bad. See? Sure, I can. We're going to torment you a little bit just to show you what's going to happen every time you come in this school. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh. The blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. That makes you cry, don't it, devil, huh? It makes you cry and tear and want to fight, doesn't it, huh? Let me tell you something. If I had a body like yours, I'd claw your eyes out with my fingernails. Let me tell you something, devil. I'm going to torment you with the blood of Jesus every time I catch you in this girl. Did you know that? Huh? I'm going to drive you crazy with it. Did you know that? Huh? You might as well get smart and go on and leave her alone because every time I come and find you in a... I'm going to tell you about the blood of Jesus and could you go absolutely crazy. Did you know that? Huh? Say, you don't have a body, but you have a personality and you can feel. You can feel. And you can hurt like I can, can't you? Huh? Say, hmm? And you can be tormented just like any, just like you torment people. You can be tormented too, devil. And I'm going to torment you until you decide that you're wasting your time with this girl. Did you know that? Huh? The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you, devil. The blood of Jesus is against you, devil. The blood of Jesus is against you, devil. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. 
That's what that to me, you shut up, okay? What are you trying to bite a finger for, devil, huh? You're like a mad dog when you get excited, aren't you? Huh? Say, huh? 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 You're like a mad dog when you get excited, aren't you, devil? Huh? You're like a... Yeah. He wants to come out. Yeah. You'd like for me to bring you out now, wouldn't you? Huh? He wants to run. I'll leave. I'll leave. What? If I could leave, I would. You can't leave until I let you go. <sighs> No, I can't leave until you let me go. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can come in, but you can't go out. I can go out, but I can't go out with you here. He could go out if I'd let him. I'm not going to let him until I finish talking to him. I've got you in my power, Devin. You're trapped. Did you know that? You're trapped. Why don't you all just go home and let Jane alone? She doesn't have any trouble when you're not around. Jane? You know you don't. You're a liar, devil. You're a liar. You're coming out of this woman. What's the matter with Thaddeus? Yes, I'm a Katati Mia. Everybody just bring this thing out of her. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Here he comes. Here he comes. In the name of Jesus. Come on, In the name of Jesus. 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 Come on, In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, Abba. There he goes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? 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 You come out of it. Quit burning my head, please. You're burning my head. Turn it loose. What? You can't hold me here. Just turn my head loose. What? You can't hold me here. Turn my head loose. You're burning my head. It's burning. You know? Burning. burning. Turn it loose. That's the power of God, devil. <sighs> turn it loose. No, I'm going to burn it. Don't burn my head. I'm going to burn it. You don't want to hurt Jane. It's Jane you're hurting. No, it's not. It's Jane you're hurting. Her head's burning. No, it isn't Jane. You don't want to hurt Jane. You're a filthy liar. It's not Jane I'm hurting, devil. It's you that's burning. Jane is very comfortable. The power of God's burning. Yes. Go ahead, Lord Jesus. Burn me. Dirt. Tommy, Jesus. Dirt. Yes. It burns. It burns. It burns. You're burning my head. Turn yes. loose. Turn loose. The power of God. Turn loose of my head. You're burning me. The power of God, devil. You're burning my head. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. For the power on me. That's it. Fill 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 it. You're burning my head. You're burning my head. Your Thank hand you. is hot. Thank you, Jesus. You're burning Thank my you. head. Thank you, Jesus. That's the power of God, devil. That's the power of God. That's the power of the living God, you know. Huh? All right, if your living God is so powerful, why doesn't Jane feel it? Huh? If your power is so super, why doesn't Jane feel it? I thought you said it? Jane felt it. Huh? I thought you said it was Jane I was burning, huh? Caught you, didn't I, devil? Caught you in a lie, didn't I? Huh? Huh? What's your name, devil? Dennis. Uh-huh. You're not as strong as Thaddeus. Thaddeus has to come in and weaken her before you can get in, huh, Dennis? Huh? That's right. My hand didn't burn, Thaddeus. She's a little stronger than you are. You're coming out of her too, Dennis. Did you know that? Hmm? Huh? All right. Who else is in there with you, Dennis? You can't spell on me, devil. I've got power over you and you know it. Who else is in there with you? Huh? Mm-hmm. That is just... That is lied. He said only he and Thanos were in there. Huh? Well, you expect that is to tell the truth? <laughs> uh-huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Believe that. 
you're all a bunch of liars, aren't you? All right, we're through fooling with you devils. You're coming out, man.
you'd like to be important, wouldn't you? No, I don't want to be important. I can make you important. You can make me important? Mm -hmm. How could you make me important, devil? You just listen to me. I'll still show you the way. Uh-huh. Make you very important. How would you make me important, devil? Huh? So men would listen to you and, uh, uh, respect you and quit all this laughing you're doing. Uh-huh. I'll help you if you listen to me. Uh-huh. You will. How will you help me, devil? Huh? I'll, I'll show you what to do if you just yeah. do have to agree or listen to me and go along with me. That's the same filthy message you preach to Jesus and the temptation in the wilderness, isn't it, devil, huh? Yes, yes, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world if you'll bow down and worship me. I don't ask that you worship that's me. You don't you have to devil. worship me. Just listen to me. Yes, that's what you devil listen preach to me. plenty of preachers, huh? People won't laugh at them if they go around talk. Don't go around talking about this healing business and talking about demon spirits and all that stuff. <coughs> People won't laugh at them and ridicule them if they don't do that, huh? They can become important preachers, huh? With big fat salaries and big congregations, huh? You like, like to the prestige, and they can get on this board and that board and the other board, and first thing you know, everybody says, "Look here, what a fine upstanding man is he!" <laughs> and you could have this too if you just listen. It's the same filthy man. You wouldn't have to fight so hard. Listen, uh-huh. look at what you're going through. Just look at what you're going through trying to get somebody to listen to this malarkey. Uh-huh. But you don't have to do that. Uh-huh. You don't have to do that. You uh-huh. just listen to me and I'll tell you uh-huh. how to go about it. You can be up. You won't have to wear shabby clothes anymore. You can dress fine. Mm. And when you stand up there on the pulpit, you'll look handsome and debonair. You don't have to. You don't have to go around Go on, listening. devil. Huh? You don't have to go around being laughed at. Now, let me tell you. You just listen to me, and I'll tell you how to do it. Uh-huh. Go on. You can become important. Uh-huh. Very important. You've got, you've got a lot of talent. Uh-huh. You can become very important. Yes. Yeah. Go on, now. But you have to cut out all this malarkey at church. <clears throat> Standing up there and... Leading those people on like that. Uh-huh. You think I'm stupid, don't you, devil? Huh? No, I don't think you're stupid. I told you you have a ma- you're a man of many talents. Uh, but you think I'm a fool. All you devils are so full of your own pride that you think you can fool me. Lucifer thought he could we fool We do a lot of them. He was so stupid and so blind that he thought he could preach this same message to Jesus there in the wilderness and get him to become important in this world so that he wouldn't go out and face the world and fight you devils and cast you out. You tried the same thing on him, didn't they, huh? If we'd have won that battle, we wouldn't have had to win anymore. Uh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> All the trouble we have is because of that. I shouldn't believe you, but I know it, devil. All the trouble is right there. We you had no trouble till then. Battle. You we had no trouble till then. All we had to... If we just won that one. Uh-huh. If we just won that one, we wouldn't have any more battles to win. It would be all finished. Uh-huh. But ever since we lost that one, we've had trouble. I know you've had trouble, and you're going to lose this one too, devil. Because oh, no, James. I say the same thing to you. James, Jesus weak. said to him. James, it is listen, written, you think... thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. It is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. You don't like that kind of message, huh, devil, huh? I don't need you to show me how to become important. I'd rather walk with the Spirit of God and cast you devils out and set people free than to ever become important. How do you like that, devil, huh? Well, you're not so uh-huh. uh-huh. You're not so You will you... You could have a fine church, you know, a big church. That's what you tell everybody, isn't it, devil? You're crazy. You're crazy to walk the way Jesus walked. You're crazy to believe the supernatural stuff, huh? You'd like for all of us to believe that, huh? Then you gotta put your way. I'm through with you, devil. You're Most of out people. Of I'm through with you. You're coming out of it. Come, Salmatidi. Let me see you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Here he comes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
continues the explanation of the Jane story. What you have just heard on the other side of this tape was the recording made of the second battle that we had with the demon spirits which had possessed Jane. The first battle, we didn't have a tape recorder with us. That one was, of course, the hardest. We had been led to Jane by the Lord and we had explained to her husband that hers was a case of demon possession at 12 o'clock one night we began casting the spirits out of her the resistance they put up in the second battle which you've just heard on the tape was mild compared to that first night there were 19 spirits in Jane that first night it took us four hours from 12 o'clock to four o'clock in the morning to cast them all out but the name of Jesus was victorious we made them name themselves the first one was named Thaddeus the second Demos the third Lucius the fourth Crimean the fifth uh, was named Gloria one was named Danis I can't remember all the others. We had one of the women note their names as they gave them when they were coming out. When the last one was set free, or rather when the last one was cast out that first night, Jane, who had been resisting and fighting and clawing and talking, as you heard on the other side of this tape, became normal, just as she did this time. And... For the next two hours, we rejoiced with her. She made coffee for us. But I spent the time warning Jane to be prepared for the return of these demon spirits. For I knew that they were going to try to return. Jesus said when the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. He saith to himself, I will return to my house from whence I came. And he returns and finds that house swept and garnished. He taketh seven other spirits more wicked than himself, than himself, and entereth back in, and the state of that person is worse than at first. When we study the statement of Jesus, we can learn a lot of truth. First, he said, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a person. This reveals to us the reality of unclean spirits and the fact that they indwell persons. Then he said, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. This denotes a spirit who is forced to exist in the air, dis disembodied, but neither the body of a human or an animal which he can dwell in and to which and through which he can manifest his evil nature or do that which is, it is his nature to do. Any being which cannot be doing that which it is his nature to do is miserable. If it's your nature to laugh and you can't be laughing, you're miserable. If it's your nature to love and you can't be loving, you're miserable. It's a demon's nature to deceive, torment, 
hurt, afflict, depress, oppress, make miserable, and ultimately destroy. And if they're forced to exist in the air without being able to live vicariously in the body of an animal or a human, preferably a human, to which and through which they can be doing that which it is their nature to do, they are miserable. Jesus expressed it, he walks through dry places seeking rest for his soul and findeth none. This was only a symbolic expression Jesus used to denote the misery of the spirit forced to exist with no way of manifesting his evil nature. Therefore Jesus said he will always try to return. He said when he returns and finds the house swept and garnished. This is an expression which denotes the door open. When a, landlord, when a tenant moves out of a house, the landlord sweeps and garnishes it and has the door right wide open hoping to attract another tenant. This expression Jesus used denotes a person who has had the spirits cast out. But then they have not been filled with truth and faith and knowledge of how to recognize the demons return and how to resist them and the spirit of God with which to resist them then the door is wide open and Jesus said the spirit will take seven other spirits worse than himself and enter back in and the state of that person will be worse than at first therefore it's very important for us to know that the battle is never won when we have cast demons out of a demon-possessed person the first time. It's only just begun because those spirits are going to try to return. And until that person has been built up in the Word and in faith and in knowledge and in truth and in the Spirit of God to the point where they themselves can recognize the demons and resist them effectively, that person is not going to be completely healed. And in most cases, such as was Jane, when that person's soul has been lacerated over a three-year period, as Jane was, they are not strong enough to resist the demon's return immediately themselves. So we need to realize that battle is only won and permanent healing will only be achieved not just when a person, when spirits are kissed out of a person and their mind is set free, but when that person has been brought to Christ and filled with the faith and the Spirit of God and brought to the, the spiritual strength that they themselves can resist the demons when the delivering minister is not around, then and then alone will permanent healing be achieved. For this reason, when Jane was set free the first night, I spent the next two hours warning her that they were going to try to return and pouring truth in her. And I told her, when you roll out of your bed in the morning, roll out on your knees. When you go about your daily work, go around singing all the blood of Jesus all day long. When you have a spare moment, spend it reading your Bible. Keep your mind so filled with Jesus and truth that there will be no opening for these spirits to get back in. Jane promised me this she would do, and she did it faithfully for a week. And for a week, she was a gloriously happy person. She started coming to church. She was a completely normal person. She was rejoicing. And she was doing what I said. But the enemy kept pressing in and kept pressing in. And about a week later, her husband called me one morning, and he said... Jane is acting rather strangely. I wish you had, would rub by. I immediately knew what would had happened, of course. And knowing what was going to happen, I went by one of my deacons' house, asked him and his wife to go with me, and asked him to bring his tape recorder. I knew that some of the spirits had gone back in. I knew that they would resist us when we began to cast them out again. And I wanted to make a tape recording their resistance so that there would be evidence with which to teach the peoples of God's church of the reality of this enemy that we're fighting. 
So we went over to Jane's house that morning. Sure enough, her husband met me at the door, and as soon as she saw me, she ran like a frightened rabbit back to the bedroom. Her husband went and forced her to come back out, and we sat her down on the couch. And we began to command the spirits to come out, the four of them that had gone back in. We calmly set up the tape recorder before we started and made the tape recording which you've just heard on the other side of this tape of that battle with the demons. To make a long story short, we had to cast these spirits out of Jane five times over a period of two months. Each time in between, when she was normal, we would pour into her so much faith and truth that the fifth time she had reached the point where she could successfully resist them herself and she was completely healed. After the spirits were cast out, the second time, which you've just heard on this tape, Jane was normal for three weeks. She was doing fine. And then the demons pulled an insidious trick upon her in order to get back in. One day her little boy was playing out in the yard with some neighbor children. The demons tricked one of the neighbor children into throwing a cloud of dirt at her seven-year-old little boy, David. The neighbor child didn't know it, but the cloud of dirt had a piece of broken brick lodged in it. And the broken brick hit her little boy in the head, knocked him out, fractured his skull. When Jane ran out, she found her little boy laying in the yard unconscious. She rushed him to the hospital and the doctors x-rayed and told her his skull was fractured. But the fractured piece was pressing inward on the brain and they were going to have to operate and remove the piece of broken skull from his head. This, of course, was such a shock to Jane's mind that it opened her mind up and these demon spirits rushed back in and when I got to the hospital, I found her sitting in the hospital jerking from head to toe. We put her back in, put her in my car, drove her out to my church and called some of my people together and we cast the spirits out again. Jane was normal for almost a month. And through an insidious manner, they crept back in again. And the fifth time, God had spoken to me. After much prayer, and told me this time, when we cast them out, that we should send them far away, out of the country, by faith. So the last time, the spirits got into Jane... She had come to church on Sunday night. As I was standing behind the pulpit preparing to start the church service, I noticed she was, that she was acting rather fidgety. Then suddenly I saw her jump up and run out of the church toward her car. I knew what had happened, and I ran through the side door and caught her at her car. Brought her back in, and we bound the spirits. Remained quiet until the church service was over. And we took her down to my home... For the fifth and last time, we cast the spirits out. As God had told us, we sent them by faith into a far country. The leading spirits, which had been tormenting Jay and were never heard from again. Of course, there are other demons around who sought to get back in her, but Jane herself had reached the point where she was strong enough in knowledge and faith and truth that she was able to resist them and she was completely healed. About six months after her healing, we waited that long to make sure the cure was permanent. She went back to her psychiatrist at Tulane University, medical clinic where she had been taking psychiatric treatment for a year. When he saw how she had been healed, he wanted to know how it had been accomplished. Jane told him that a minister had prayed for her and God had healed her. He requested to see me and I went in to a conference with him. He wanted to know how we'd gotten Jane healed. I took the Bible and taught him what the Bible has to say about the reality of demon spirits, the fact that they can indwell people, the fact that they can take such complete possession of the personality they're indwelling that they can actually manifest themselves through that person by making them do crazy things, which we would call mental sickness today that they can actually so possess the whole personality of that person that they can talk through the person. As did the demons in the man legion 
as did the demons in Jane to us. Then I played the tape recording which you've just heard for him. This scientist was so impressed that he asked me to appear the next Saturday before the Board of Psychiatry of Tulane University, which I did. The following Saturday, I appeared before 20 psychiatrists from Tulane. The leader said to me, we've been tremendously impressed with this woman's healing. We're interested in your methods and techniques by which it has been accomplished. They gave me their whole seminar to make my presentation. I took the Bible, showed them what it has to say about demon spirits, about the power that's in the name of Jesus to cast them out, and then played this tape recording for them. When I finished, a great number of them asked me to make them a separate copy of the tape that they might study it. I was asked to make a copy for the university, and I was asked to write a paper, a thesis on the subject for the university, which I did. And now, if you listen, we will play for you a tape recording which we made of the last fight that we had with the spirits in Jane the last time we cast them out after which she was permanently healed. The leading spirit, who was named Thaddeus, who would continually get back in and open the way for the others, who had been so continually defiant, always saying, go ahead, cast me out, I'll come right back in. When he was told in this fight that we were going to cast him out of the country, he lost his defiance. He became afraid. And when he went out this time, he went out screaming in a loud voice, just as the scripture says that Philip went to Samaria and unclean spirits came out of many crying out with loud voices. If you listen carefully on this tape, it will be given ample evidence that demon spirits of lust are the cause of homosexualism. For the first spirit that manifested himself in this fight was a homosexual spirit. This you can easily discern as you hear the extreme femininity of the tone and personality of this first spirit. Anyone who's ever had any experience with homosexuals know that they talk with an extreme femininity of personality and tone of voice. And if you'll note the difference between the personality of this first spirit, Theus, which manifests himself, it has an extreme feminine personality and the second spirit, Thaddeus, which has a tremendous defiant masculine personality, there'll leave no doubt in your mind that the first spirit is a spirit of lust, the kind that causes homosexualism, the kind that causes men to act and talk with an extreme feminine personality. May God use it to teach you the reality of the enemy that we are facing the need for a greater faith in the church today and the power that's in the name of Jesus to cast them out and set them free. In a moment you will hear the recording of the last fight that we had, the demons that were resisting Jane, after which she was permanently and completely healed. This was three years ago, and now her husband and herself are living in Dallas, Texas. And both are raging testimonies for Jesus Christ. Spirit-filled and wonderful witnesses for the Lord. I don't see how you know I didn't show myself at all. The Spirit of God showed me, General. That's how I knew it, see? And he tells me about these spirits for demons. Did you know that? Yes, I'm a Catilla, you better have it. You don't like to be called a filthy spirit, do you? No. Uh -huh. No. You're a foul spirit of lust, aren't you, Dan? Huh? You huh? said that, Sam Fife. I didn't. Ask me, aren't you, in the name of All right, all right, all right. Aren't you, devil, huh? All right. You're a filthy spirit of lust, aren't you? Tell me the truth in the name of Jesus. All huh? right, I huh? told you, yes. You're the kind of devil that fills people with lust, aren't you, devil, huh? I don't know what that means. After me, you're a liar. You do know what it means. You're the kind of that fills people with lust, aren't you, devil, huh? Aren't you in the name of Jesus? Tell me. 
Answer me, devil, and tell me who it is. All right. All right, All right but I wasn't bothering Jane. Uh -huh. You're the kind of spirit Paul talks about in the book of Romans, huh? Because the people turn to the I've never read the book of Romans. Oh, uh, you've never read the book of Romans, huh? Well, the book of Romans tells about two kind of filthy spirits that turn people to vile passions and make them lust and turn them away from God. That's what you spirits like to do, isn't it, huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. You're the kind of people that the spirits that deceive the people in Noah's day <laughs> and cause them to turn away from God and cause God to have to destroy them. Aren't you, devil, huh? Yes. Uh -huh. You're a filthy lustful spirit. What do you reckon?